Hey guys, today I'm gonna be doing the video you've all been waiting for, GCSE Biology. So let's get right into it. First things first, you know I love my revision guides. Definitely go out and get yourself a CGP. I wish I was sponsored by them, I'm not. Also, wait, let me find it. Wait, where is it? There's also a targeted grade eight to nine book if you're, if you're going for those grades that you can do like some exam practice on. I mean, there are loads of past paper questions, but if you need extra practice and it goes topic by topic, feel free to get this too. Now, the reason I wanted to do a separate video on biology is because even though I don't think you necessarily need to do this, for me, there's so much content that I did write summary notes. As you can see, I bought myself a little exercise book and I wrote um, biology, paper one. I also did one for paper two. This is quite time consuming. So if you're in the last stages of year 11, just watch videos to understand the content. I'll talk about that later. But if you're in year 10 and you've got nothing else to do, <laughs> make notes. Uh, let me give you an idea of what I did. Check out the specification. You should know what that is by now, hopefully. Um, if not, check out my short video on what the specification is. I kind of did a summary and looked at what was in the spec and wrote about it. So we've got comparing um, eukaryotic and prokaryotic cell, drew my little lovely drawings, made it look like aesthetic. Okay, it took me long to make it look aesthetic and you see all these study TikTokers or study tube people with really neat notes. I'm ashamed to say that I am one of those just for biology, but I don't think you necessarily need to be super neat. Whoa. Yeah, you can definitely see I had lots of time spare to be drawing all of this. Although it looks lovely, it, it definitely did not. It helped me understand it. Ne didn't really like necessarily help me in the same way that flashcards helped me. I feel like seeing perfect notes everywhere really makes you want to make perfect notes and it takes so much time, so much time and effort. Like if I made a mistake, I would rip out the page and do it again. You don't have time for that. At A level, I started making notes and I've given up now because it takes too long. I just go straight into flashcards. So I'm saying if you do have time, make one. It helped with my understanding. If it helps you understand in a different way, do something else, like watch YouTube videos. Cognito is really good. Um, my GCSE science videos. Uh, my school had a subscription to them, so we were able to access for free. Don't worry if you don't have that. Also use your teachers, they can help you with the content, although the lessons can be a bit long, because you know, biology is very long. The interesting stuff does happen in paper two, so just survive paper one, I guess. Another interactive thing that's good for your memory to do. So notes are passive and you don't really wanna be revising like that all the time. You wanna be doing active things. I've also made things like this, like a little diagram thing. I printed out this unlabeled diagram and then I annotated a bit and I took these off. Wow, this is really old. It, I don't know if the blue tack will come off. Oh, I ripped it a bit. Like I've got blue tack there and I've got that and then I took them all off and then I would blue tack it on like where it needed to go. So these are good active ways of remembering stuff. I did that for the um, plant cell as well, printed that off and also like the digestive system. Um, you can also like take out your an annotations. Yeah, you can stick them to where they need to go as well. So that goes with my first point to understand the content now, doing past paper questions, there's a smart way to do this. You want to sort them by topic. This takes a while and it kills a lot of trees. You print out all of the past papers, but you print it out one-sided, so it really does use a lot of paper. But you basically look at it, you see what topic it is, and you put it in different piles and you make them into this folder. You see I've, I've labelled it by topic. So the first one is 4.1.1, cell structure. I've got all of the questions on cell structure and it, it's really good because it helps me focus my revision. And if I got one wrong, I would maybe circle it in pencil like here. And then when I go through them again, I would just do the ones that I mark as wrong. And if I got them right, I would rub out the pencil marking. And also after you've done your filtering of questions like using past papers, I put the questions that I didn't do so well on on a piece of paper. It was kind of like my emergency piece of paper that I used right before my exam. I have a lovely folder. You should get these to organize your GCSE stuff because they're very useful. And so this is an example of what I would do. So these are the questions that I got like in, during study leave, like the day before, it's questions I was, I was not getting right or perhaps there's six markers that I needed to know or memorize, like plan and investigation, um, all the required practical stuff. I printed it out on this piece of paper. You see, I've got all of the points that I, I thought I needed to know for 
plan um, an investigation, blah, blah, blah. And then right before we went to the exam hall, I would be sitting there like trying to cover it up with my hand and then say the question, okay, and then, yeah, memorize it. Also for six markers, what's really useful is here, I wrote down words for each point. So box, height, measure, control, weak, remeasure, mean, angle. And then that would kind of give me an idea of what I needed to know. Because box, you have a box and you've got several seeds in each one. Um, you put one on each batch and you measure the height of the shoots. And then you control, you use your control variables. So you leave some of them in the dark and the one in the hole and blah, blah, blah. See, um, it's been a while since I've done biology, so I can't really remember them. But that's a good way of doing it. Um, I think I had too many points. So only you only need six points. So just put six words. And that's how you remember six markers. Those are my main things for biology. Now, if you need even more resources, you can get the CGP flashcards. I would make your own flashcards though. These have more um, exam questions. So I walk to school, so I would just get out a card and like read the front and then read the back when I'm walking. Um, make sure you're not doing this on like a busy road where you're gonna bump into cars and stuff because that would not be good. Not, you don't wanna take one for the team for your GCSE exams <laughs> and then everyone else passes. Anyway, that was a quick like overview of everything I did for biology. I hope this helps. If you're doing combined science, this will also help you with the general tips. If you found this useful, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.